It's Friday the 28th of June 2019 and I'm at the Valiant Sailor on the outskirts of Folkestone to do a walk along the Saxon Shore Way. And the Saxon Shore Way goes along Creek Road East and then through this Kissing Gate. We're also on the North Downs Way here. It's pleasantly sunny but quite windy. A short distance on there's a great view over Folkestone and out to sea. So a week after the last walk along the Saxon Shore Way I've returned to Folkestone to continue the walk along the path. It seems to be very windy today so I hope the wind noise doesn't spoil the video too much. Thanks for watching again. We pass this trig point on the left and ahead views are opening up, although it seems to be a bit hazy. Fantastic view over Folkestone. And at least on this walk, unlike last week, there won't be any cliff edges. Now passing a wartime pillbox. grassy path of North Downs Way and Saxon Shore Way continuing. The route goes through this kissing gate to rejoin Creek Road East. Short way on from the kissing gate there are signs you can see we're on Saxon Shore Way and North Downs Way. Next we go past this mast one thing about the wind, it's keeping the heat of the day down. Another pillbox, this one's on the right hand side. And there's Creek Road East continuing. The road goes steeply downhill, it's going to meet another road soon I think. We now need to cross this busy road and take the kissing gate ahead and the road continuing on the right hand side of the clip, it's Creek Road becomes Creek Road West from this point. But we seem to be able to follow a path beside the road. This... Got a bit of a climb coming up now. Great view over Folkestone again to the left. We don't take that style, the path continues along that grassy trod, looks like we're going to go downhill. More Saxon Shoreway North Downs Way signs, but the problem is the signposting is intermittent in this area. We clearly, we're about to go through a kissing gate and we clearly go up there. Now walking across Caesar's Camp, Bronze Age Barrow. You can see the mounds. And great views looking back. These mounds are very impressive. Unfortunately, the wind's really picked up. From the top of Caesar's Camp, there are great views all round. Ahead is Channel Tunnel paraphernalia. Now descending from Caesar's camp, naturally there are no way marks and there are paths going everywhere. I'm down now, that's looking back to Caesar's camp. We now turn left along Creek Road West. Great views from the road over to the left, towards the western side of Folkestone. 
heading out to sea. View of freight train movements, the Channel Tunnel. Saxon Shoreway now goes along this grassy path beside Crete Road West. Great downland view now ahead and over there, Channel Tunnel view. And here's a view of the Channel Tunnel from the top of Cheriton Hill. Another freight train looks like coming in the distance there. At a road junction, Saxon Shoreway takes a path off the road to follow the edge of this field. Now we're getting some fabulous countryside views. Plenty of wild poppies around today on the path. About to pass another pillbox. Fantastic views ahead from the path. More astonishing views. We're bending to the right, so the views will be on the left. And I haven't seen a way mark for a long time. Not since I left the road. At last, the North Downs Way Waymark and Saxon Shore does follow the same route as North Downs Way at this point. And it was no wonder I hadn't seen any waymarks. I'd taken the wrong path at a fork without any waymarks. But fortunately, it was easy to get back on route. I just entered a field and descended a few yards, so not a disaster. So the route is up there now. Turn left off the path through a gap across a small road and take that shady path ahead. There are now Saxon Shoreway signs in the vicinity. Path continues between fences and over there where that mast is is Tolsford Hill which is where the walk eventually goes. And I think that's where Saxon Shoreway splits from North Downs Way. The path is very muddy in places. It's quite overgrown as well. Unbelievable really for a national trail, which the North Downs Way is. As you can see from the signpost, we now turn left through this gate. That doesn't look too great either. That path. I'm sitting down now having a drink. And there's the path continuing. That's looking back to where I just had a sit down. More amazing downland views ahead. There's now an extremely awkward descent into this coombe and the path is very poor again. The path has become a lot clearer, still descending. There's a view looking back up the coombe, which I've just descended. You really wouldn't believe this overgrown trod is a national trail. We're now going beneath the disused railway. In case you're doubting, yes, we're on Saxon Shore Way and still North Downs Way. And now we go up across this clear path, easy path at last. From the top of the field in the last clip, this is looking back towards the coombe which we descended. 
after her and horrific section along a main road, Saxon Shore Way turns left along this path. The path goes along the edge of woodland. Now on Tolsford Hill and there's the mast ahead. As you can see, Saxon Shoreway and North Downs Way Park Company here. And Saxon Shoreway goes along this concrete track. Now at the trick point, 594 feet high of Tolsford Hill. Decent view, but it's quite hazy in the very distance. And there's the mast that we were at previously. Of course, what goes up has to come down, and now I've got to descend Tolsford Hill. I hope it's not going to be too steep, because we're right at the end of the walk now. Fantastic view opening up ahead, and the path down is all churned up, and is quite awkward. The path has become enclosed, and is easier going now. We're still descending. Now on a tarmac lane. The descent's over. We're now heading for the A20. Now at the A20, you turn left for a few yards. And now decent views. Just looking back towards Tolsford Hill. Yes, we're still on Saxon Shore Way. And we take that path opposite. Now crossing the M20. Next we're going to cross the Eurostar lines to the Channel Tunnel. Across there. At this crossroads we head up this track. There. At this fork Saxon Shoreway goes right on the unmade path. After rising the path starts to descend again but we're in beautiful woodland and the path is clear. We are coming to the end of the walk now and oh what a lovely path. Saxon Shoreway now turns right up this path. Now heading down to the Sandling Road where I shall be leaving Saxon Shoreway and heading to Sandling Station. Now crossing the Slaybrook and there's the Sandling Road ahead where I shall be leaving Saxon Shoreway. That's the path I've just emerged onto the road from. I'm now turning left up Sandling Road to Sandling Railway Station. I'm leaving Saxon Shoreway at this point. Now at Sandling Station, and the end of today's walk along the Saxon Shore Way.